about it that I wasn't surprised about things. I knew about the dogs just from like, you know, people talking about games mm -hmm. uh, or seeing your friend play, you know, while you're at a, you know, have your friend, you're in your friend's basement and like two of you are talking, one's rolling up a Dungeons and Dragons character and two are playing a video game. And another's talking about trying to get an older brother to buy you beer. You know, it's, it's just to take you there back in the day before we had Craigslist. Um, but no, yeah. So I, that, that's it. And then, yeah, that's how I do it. And then under, uh, sorry, underworld is just at the bottom because that just had a, two good movies in my opinion so uh, all right this is uh, 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 all right underworld's last yeah, yeah now you feel the stress you Under, feel the stress underworld is last saw is second to last because i haven't done a, a rewatch of it so then i'd have to put man okay so five final destination five and final destination one okay okay you had that great opening sequence all right so i'm gonna say final destinations two and resident evils one because i hate the final destination and i don't hate any of the Resident Evil movies. Wow, you're putting the Resident Evil franchise at the top. Because I don't, I don't, so some of those later Underworld movies are, you, they don't, I, I don't even think they speak in full sentences in those movies. They're, they're horrible. You mean like at the Blood Wars yeah, one? Yeah, they're horrible. <laughs> uh, the Saw movies, man, I just haven't re I've watched them all, but I've watched that latest one, Jigsaw, and I was like, this sucks. Uh, oh, hold on. Jigsaw does suck, though. Yeah. And so I just saw it, and like, that, it sucks. And then, Final Destination, I think they have maybe the strongest, but I hate four. And the Resident Evil movies, I don't dislike any of them. Like, two's weak, six is weak, but I don't have as angry a response when I think about the other bad ones in the franchise. Sure, as unfortunate as I thought the last Resident Evil movie was, I, I, I still did not... Like, I, I'm not going out of my way to say, like, guys, like, if you're going to watch the Resident Evil movies, watch all but this one, whereas with Final Destination... I will say, like, yeah, watch one, two, three, and five. That'd, that's watch perfect. them all. Watch them eight times, and then <laughs> still don't watch part four. <laughs> you could leave four out completely. It does nothing yeah. for this. So you could excise it. I like John. John's doing a cut motion right now that I love. <laughs> well, honestly, if we just look at what these movies did with their own mythology, uh, and I'm not talking about like adding rules as I was discussing before. Both parts two and three function as direct sequels to part one. I would say, okay. Right? I would say, we discussed that in a, yeah. in a past episode. I would say watch and, one, two, and five. What do you think? One, two, and five, sure. Because three it, it isn't, isn't sequeling anything on two, so you may as well, right? And four, th th that may <laughs> as well just be its own movie, like I said. Like, they may as well just call it random people dying, have fun, and yeah. And, and then we pan it less. Yeah, then because they wouldn't have squandered a great franchise, and that's the only one where where Tony Todd had no involvement. Yeah, at least Tony popped up in three doing some voice work. But uh, right, yeah, no, he, I, did, I, he did the, the train conductor and the voice of the devil in that in the theme park. Do you think three is should is a worthy inclusion with this franchise? I, I I don't think it's so bad compared to say two that it should just be evicted. Because I think that the difference in quality between three and two is the same as the difference in quality between two and five. Yeah. You know, it's it, whereas the difference between four and three, even though three is not a great, <laughs> it's not a very good movie, like four is just, they even screwed up the color by numbers that was already painted on the wall for them with the earlier movies. Yeah. They couldn't even color within the lines, especially with Hunt's anal disembowelment. <laughs> oh goodness. That was just so coloring weird. all over the place. <laughs> Jeez Louise. But now, I wish they showed his body afterwards, like all sunken. Oh, they should have done that. <laughs> like, That'd have been like, awesome. Like 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 a bag or a wet plastic bag. Uh, Would so, have been better. And it twitches. I am so happy that you suggested this. This was a really fun rewatch for me, John. This was a good idea. Yeah, I I got to tell you, too, and it got me to watch them in closer succession than I probably ever have as well, which is all the more satisfying because you catch all the nods I, I a will, lot better. I will say I, I put Resident Evil 1, but I, if I had to put any of these four franchises on just to watch, it would be 5, Final Destination 5. Yep, definitely the most rewatchable. Yeah. Absolutely. Megan thinks – Megan loves the fourth Resident Evil. I asked her. No, she likes the fifth one. She confuses the two, but she always says those as one she'd watch. Retribution the, is the fifth one. Yeah. Well, the, Afterlife the, is the fourth one. Retribution is where they're in like the giant ice area and they're in a training thing. She loves that one. You know Megan. She's on the podcast <laughs> a lot. But no, this is any final thoughts about Final Destination 5 or the Final Destination? Boy, you know, if anyone's listening, and I, I don't know why you've 
been listening all this time if you've never seen a Final Destination movie. But if you if you listen because you love us and you're like, I'm not watching a Final Destination movie, try five. It's OK to watch that one by itself. Uh, and, and I think that it will it can help you decide if you want to go back and learn about its roots or not. But I think you'd like it anyway. That's a good even call. if you don't just watch five. Just watch five because it wouldn't wreck one. Right, yeah, it's not, it's not, not, there's nothing to be spoiled or anything, and it's a good standalone. It's the most modern. That, that, is one that puts people off too, is watching the older movies where, you know, you just believe the effects won't mount up, so you don't even watch it sometimes. Um, what about you? What, what, would, what would be your final, final thought on this franchise? I mean, all right, watch, okay, watch five, and then if you like it, watch one, and then start the beginning of two. And understand that those those horrible characters in the beginning of two they die quick, and then you get other characters that are much better than those stupid car kids. That's like that. It's like the classic horror movie trope that not all horror movies do, where it's the first batch of people who let you know how dire the situation is for the real batch of people you're watching through the movie. Get rid of that. If you can live, stomach that. Watch two, and if you really like two, do three, and just avoid, then just watch five again. All right, this was fun. But no, John, thank you so much for recommending this. Sure. All right, so for me, Mark Hoffmeyer, and for John, Golden Buddha Collector, Levin Good, this is Movies, <laughs> Films, and Flicks. We'll see you next week.